I've got here uh, two tin cans. We're going to compare their motion. Um, we're going to look at them sliding on a slope and we're going to look at them rolling on a slope. They have both got exactly the same amount of plasticine inside. This one has got the plasticine all around the outside edge like this and this one has got the plasticine in one big lump. We're going to slide them, we're going to let them roll and we're going to see when that makes a difference. Yes. So here's our first experiment. We're going to release them together and we're going to see how the motion compares as they slide down the slope. Here we go. It looks as though they move exactly together in exactly the same way. Let's just try that one more time. Here we go. Right, this time we're going to get the cans roll down the slope and we're going to see how the motion compares. Here we go. Now we can see quite clearly that this one, which is the one with the solid plasticine, rolls more quickly than this one which is the one with the plasticine around the outside. So when we let them roll, we can see the fact that there is a difference because of the mass distribution, unlike when they slide. And what we need to think about next is a little bit about why the one with the mass around the outside rolls more slowly than the one with the solid mass. To explain the motion of the cans, think about two roundabouts with um, two children that are identical sitting on them. The picture shows the two children represented as black dots, one's near the outside and one's nearer to the centre. The roundabouts are made to rotate at the same rate. The child that goes the fastest will be the one sitting on the outside. Watch carefully now and you will see this. As they complete the two revolutions, the one on the outside is moving much faster. In order to get this roundabout going, it will be more difficult because you have actually got to get the child moving at a greater speed. This is very similar to the cans. When the mass is on the outside, very much like the child sitting on the edge of the roundabout, then it is more difficult to get the can moving. Whereas if the child is close to the centre, they haven't got to go quite so fast. And the can with the mass nearer to the centre is more easy to get going. So when we observe the cans in motion, we see the one with the mass is concentrated on the outside, rolling more slowly than the one where the mass is more towards the centre. This time we're going to compare the motion of a hollow tennis ball and a solid dog ball. Very similar to the cans, the tennis ball has the mass concentrated further away from the centre, while the solid dog ball has the mass spread evenly. And now we're going to try the experiment. And we can see that the solid ball rolls more quickly than the hollow ball. 